Hey guys, it's Full Cars here, live and direct from Montreal, Quebec. Still not back in Brooklyn yet. In front of me today, I have a box of 2010-2011 Victory from Upper Deck. It is an introductory product uh, to wet your whistle. Uh, usually it only costs $10, $15, $20 max. Uh, yet it's stacked because it has 36 packs. It's a good introductory product for uh, for children. Uh, no need to make a stink if and or blink if they absolutely annihilate the cards. Uh, but the interesting thing about this particular 2010-2011 is most typically with Invictory, true to of, of um, OPG, the best rookie cards are inserted as inserts within Upper Deck Series 2. Certainly true of this era for Victory. Later on, it was OPG that they inserted. Uh, but even on the base checklist, um, in other words, not the updated rookies, which are in another box, uh, they actually had decent rookies in here. They did, I believe, have the P.K. Subban rookie in here as well as the Nazem Kadri rookie. They would not have the Taylor Hall rookie or the Eberle or the Brandon Peary or Tyler Seguin or OEL. Uh, nonetheless, um, are some rookies in here, so worth it uh, for $10, $15 for some low price. So what do we need to know about the odds? Uh, square the odds. Of, well, firstly, 36 packs per box, six cards per pack, loads of packs. It's going to be a long involved break. Uh, what do you need to know? Also, victory rookie cards, one of two, so 18 per box. Uh, then other one of two would be the superstar inserts, stars of the game and game bre uh, breakers, both one of four, combining for one of two, so nine per box plus nine per box. So that's basically it in terms of our odds, our statistics. Uh, I don't know if you could glean that from here, but I, I know this stuff uh, inside out at this point, more or less, because I open a lot of products. Uh, so let's let's rip the uh, wrapper right off, and we do see that we do have a Crosby on the cover, which is common. Uh, and these victory boxes year on year look like this square. They look like retail boxes, uh, although there's no distinction between a hobby box and, and a retail box unless you're talking about the blasters. Uh, these retail boxes are the hobby boxes and vice versa. I don't think there's anything high end uh, other than this. So this is it, man. This is what this box looks like. It's kind of cute, right? Compact, uh, nice, nice sort of colors involved as well. Uh, so let's uh, square away through it. You could potentially get uh, parallels. Worth mentioning, there are gold parallels, which are one per box. There are black parallels, which are basically one of 144. So that would be, do the math, 36. So it'd be one every four boxes. Math, math, guys. Did you guys learn your, your uh, high school math? Always helpful to learn that stuff. Uh, also, there are gold, so the golds are inserted one of 144 for the rookie card, so that's one of four boxes. There are also blacks, and blacks are the rarest, and the rookie blacks are inserted one every 40 boxes. So if we hit a rookie uh, black, it actually is a valuable card. There's, it'd be the only valuable card in this uh, lot. So let's let's scroll our way through it. We will not get a Hall, we will not get an Everly, we could get a Subban, we could get a Nazem Kadri. Let's see. So we have a Jonas Hiller. These are kind of cool designs, very clean. There's Milan Lucic, who always looks like he's, he looks like a Roman statue half the time, doesn't he? Except a lot more mouthy and chirpy. So this is a Game Breakers. These Game Breakers, oh cool, look at this Tavares Game Breaker. It's a pretty handsome card. These Game Breakers will come, I believe, one every four packs. So we will end up with nine of them, uh, do the math again on 36. Anze Kopitar, Nikolai Kuleman, and Ryan Getzlaff. Uh, they're actually pretty clean cards. I find the design of Victory uh, year on year to be really, really plain, uh, plain, simple, clean, uh, geometric, uh, use of a good use of color and so on. Very clean design. There's Rafalski, Patrick Eliash, Evander Kane, back with the Thrashers before they disappeared. And then we have our first rookie, and it's Alexander Petruski. We're going to get a lot of um, middling rookies, is what I like to call them. Mark Strait and Mark Stahl, two great defensemen. Mark Strait, pretty offensive in his day, played a long time in the league. There's Philip the Thrillip. So this is already when he'd been traded from Boston. Uh, it's pretty cool. He looks. He doesn't look as like as big headed as he looks now. Less of a cannonball. Uh, large mammal. Blake Wheeler. Nick Palmieri. So here's a Nick Palmieri rookie card. Again, low-end rookie card, but Nick Palmieri is exactly who we'd be looking for. We'd be looking for the ones that aren't in the updates. Uh, Landcow, Fisher, Scotty Gomez, who the Habs acquired for three orange balls. 
and uh, a CCM stick. Okay, Daniel Sedin. Oh, uh, actually, no, we traded him for for uh, McDonough. Oops. Uh, Daniel Sedin, Steve Solomon, uh, Wotek Wolski, whose rookie year was probably 2005 with a name like that. Uh, or was he? Yeah, probably that or 2006. There's there's our first stars of the game. And look at this Patrick Kane. It's a pretty handsome card. So these are nice cards. I mean, if you're a kid and, you know, you can buy them this for $15 by a 7-year-old, 8-year-old, 9-year-old, even if they're not ready for them. And if he annihilates it, you could, it's, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it's a handsome card. There's Gustafsson as well as Marion Hossa. I recently landed his auto in a box of SPX as a case hit. Joe Pavelski, Duncan Keith, Jason Spezza, and another one of these is Marty St. Louis. These are really clean, geometric, handsome, fantastic cards. I love them. Mike Ribeiro, who always looks like he's on a vendor kind of guy. He looks like he woke up in the alley half the time. There's Michael Hanzus. Michael Hanzus, who scrolled around quite a few teams. I believe he was, what did I say he was? Third overall? I mean, third rounder or fourth rounder. Michael Froelich, Braden Irwin. So here's a Braden Irwin rookie. Uh, we're going to get a lot of low-end rookies, but that's okay. Mark Savard, Derek Brassard. So I, there is no such thing, I believe, as... Um, as memorabilia cards in these, so don't be, or autos for that matter. Here's Shea Weber. It's a pretty nice one of Shea Weber. There's Patty Kane, and then we have another rookie, and this one's of Richard Clune. Uh, looking to hit the Subban. That would be the one we want. So we'll get 18 rookies. So hopefully we can hit a Subban or a Kadri. Uh, if, I hate Kadri, but I wouldn't mind hitting him. Our second game breaker would be Mike Richards. Pretty nice. Mike Richards of your flyers. Really, really nice. They use the colors so well, whoever designed these. Mike Green. 36 packs, man. We better get on our horse. And our checklist is actually of, uh, looks to be of uh, Miller, isn't it? Nice checklist. I, I assume that's Ryan Miller. Zach Parise, Drew Doughty, and Eric Tangrady. So we'll get people of this nature within this box. Hornquist and Ryan Miller. So you see the difference between the checklists? It's like just a slight difference in the angle. Okay. James Neal. Ilya Kovalchuk, another game breaker. And this one would be a Mike Fisher of the Sins. Cogliano, Placanics, and does he have his uh, vaunted turtleneck? Of course he does. Another checklist. And this checklist appears to be the Stammer. That's kind of nice. Neat looking card. Stammer's rookie year being 2000 2009. This would be two years later. Vermette, Brandon Sutter. Daniel Brier, and here we have another rookie, and it's Hekkinen, and something's glued against it behind it, and it would be Rich Peverly, and there, there's Daniel Alfredson, your captain, drafted the same year as uh, Saku Koivu was drafted, but he was drafted late, while Saku Koivu was drafted, I believe, 20th or 21st. Patrick Marlowe, Rene Bork, Eric Stahl, and another one, man, this, this product, oh, this is Bobby Lou. Nice to see a Bobby Lou. Bobby Lou, Sam Gagne, Tyler Bozak. Get off of my Bozak. Which is very beastie boys forward. Uh, let's continue on here. Scotty Hartnell, back when he was with the Flyers, and he had his mullet. Nice. That is a handsome red mullet. Tyler Myers, good fit on the Flyers, tell you that much. Clayton Stoner, which is not the name you want to uh, tell your... It's, it's like if your your daughter brings her boyfriend home and his name's Stoner. It's like, yeah, guilty as charged. Though it's legal here in Canada. Devin Setaguchi, Weiss. And here's Justin Mercier. 
Look how nice these rookies are. These are really nice cards. The design, whoever designed these cards was really on top of it. And year on year, they look like that a lot. They just look sort of straightforward, handsome design. On and on and on. So much to open up here. Jokinen, you see Jokinen, not Oli. There's Luke Shen. And here we have another game breaker. And guess who it is? It's Corey Perry. A healthy Corey Perry. Uh, who won a Stanley Cup in his first or second year with uh, your Ducks. I believe the year T. Mussolini won one, who was at the end of his career. There's Chris Stewart. Oh, look at this. An early Carey Price. That's nice. Oh, red pads, too. It's got the Vaughn red pads. It does better with white pads, I think, though. White pads. Goalies prefer white pads because... I'll keep put that aside. And there's Lundqvist as well. Oh, there's Dustin Koharski. That's actually one of the decent ones. He was um, a, a Bolts pick and, of course, played on the Montreal Canadiens. He's actually one of the better ones. Now, goalies prefer white pads simply because uh, it's harder to tell where the five hole begins and ends. It's uh, It just looks like open ice. There's been sort of psychological tests on that. There's Guillaume Latendresse was with the Habs. And there we have a Game Breakers of Nicholas Backstrom, who is one of my favorite uh, players. David Krejci, Dion Feneuf. They expected him to be a number one or a number two on the Leafs back then. And meanwhile, he was like a number five. <laughs> he was number three or four in, in Calgary before he was traded. They, they expected too much of the cat. There's Michael Camilleri with the Habs. There's Paul Stashny. Mika Koivu. And Casey Wellman would be our rookie card. Brad Richards, Nick Antropoff. <laughs> this pack shredified on me. There's Bruce Galloff. Jordan Stahl, who was a second overall pick, I believe. Victor Hedman. And a Daniel Alfredson, Stars of the Game. Again, very, very plain um, design, but very clean and nice. Matt Molson and Nick Backstrip. Low end product, loads of packs though. And looking to hit a PK Subban, theoretically, hopefully. Oh, look at this Brent Burns. A young Brent Burns. He's just starting to decide that he might need to not trim his beard. Uh, does he still have his chiclets, is the question. A good question. Let's see if we can zoom in and see how his chiclets are. I think he has it's either gum or it's chiclets. I think it's chiclets. Craig Anderson. Hmm. Craig Anderson with your abs. And then we have the Maxine Fortunis. Not the guy we're looking for. And Bobby Lou. Oh, there's a Sid the Kid. Nice Sid the Kid. Why does he look back in all of his photos? It's like, is everybody giving him a suicide pass or is everybody trying to hit him from behind? Did deal with some concussions. You know, his uh, his young guns dipped down to $70 at one point when he was concussed. True story. Then it banged up to $200. Now they're, now they're over $500, I believe, even $800. There's Gino. It's a nice one at Gino. Drafted right after uh, OV in 2004. Second overall after OV, and there's the stammer, the staminator. Oh, cool! So we did hit we did hit a parallel. Of course, it's TJ Gagliardi, um, but these are a bit rare. These are rare hits. What did I say this was? I said it was one per box, I believe. It's a regular gold, which would be one per box, so not not particularly rare. There's Andre Markov, one of the most overrated D's in the history of the game. A one of the guys you can have out on the PP, on the PK, at, with one minute left in the game. Uh, smart. Awesome hockey IQ. Completely quiet in the room. Uh, just a stud muffin. JVR, Jason Arnett, and Grant Klitsum. Hmm, that's not exactly the best name. Brandon Dubinsky, David Perron, who's having a good year. JP Dumont. Jim Perron's a very solid left winger. One of these, one of these guys who, if you have a deep uh, pool, he'd be someone he'd pick up in the later rounds and feel confident with. Dan Boyle, Derek Roy, 
Another Game Breaker, and this one is of Jumbo Joe. I love the colors. Nice, man. This is a nice looking card. Handsome looking card. This is a nice subset. I really like it. There's Johnny Quick, best hockey, best goalie name in the game. Nikolai Habibulin and Dustin Pinner. 36 packs, man. Okay. Johan Franzen. Marion Gabrick. Another one of these game breakers. And this one would be Rick Nash. A first overall pick. There's Jiggy. Won a cup. Won a cons might before he won the cup. Which is kind of unusual. And Thomas the Journeyman Vanek. Thomas Vanek, he skates as if he's in his socks. I mean, he's, he's a defensive liability because he can't move his uh, feet, but he knows where the action is. Lidstrom, Scotty Upshaw, and here's the rookie of Nick Bonino. Oh, that's a good one. That's one of the better ones we could get. That's one of the ones I wanted. Okay, cool. Finally hit a decent one. Corey Stillman and Vince, Vincent Le Cavalier, who was the first overall. I believe in the late 90s. Who else? Steve Downey, Travis Sajak, there's Iggy. Iggy! I always say that because it's it's how, uh, you remember that against the boards when he passed the puck to Sid for the golden goal? Sid yelled, Iggy! Dial that up on YouTube. Uh, Jamie McBain, okay. And Milan Heydu, who played many, many years, a thousand games on your abs. Hoisted the cup with the abs. Thomas Bocoon. Let's see, what does it say? Catches right. One of the few goalies who catches right, which is very, pardon me, which is very um, Grant Furish. Edler, Louis Erickson, stars of the game of Eric Stahl. That's pretty nice. Eric Stahl, who said just a fantastic career. Henrik Sedin and Henrik Zetterberg, the two H's. Okay, last couple of packs, Jack. Wayne Simmons, Burroughs, Alex Hemsky, a Zidino Chara, stars of the game. Pominville and Bobby Ryan. Still have maybe six, six, seven packs left. Hopefully we can land. I want my, P my PK Subban. It's probably a $3 card, but still. Marty Salouini, Pecorine, and a Philip Larson who is not Adam Larson, he would be Philip Larson, Keith Yandel, Kyle Oposo, and L Lubomir Visnovsky. Now that's a, that's a name that just flies out of the mouth. You know what I mean? That didn't come out right. Continuing on, Dan Cleary, Eric Johnson, Alex Plant. So an Alex Plant rookie card. A lot of low-end rookies, sadly. O.V., Ryan O'Reilly, and Ryan Smith. Look at that, Ryan O'Reilly. And there's Ryan Smith. R right down at the bottom of the box. Last couple of chances. Wait, how many rookies do we have yet? We're, we might get just one or two more if we're lucky. There's Rick Nash. Corey Perry. And here's a Henrik Sedin Game Breaker. Which is very green. Very, very green. Here, Gary Lettinen. Patrice Bergeron. And Jacob Voracek. Okay. Come on, baby. Give me one of the big two. Jamie Ben. A Johnny T. A game breaker of Troy Brower. Okay. Blake Como. Brad Boys. Claude Giroux. Or Claude Giroux. Chris Drury, Barlamov, TJ Oshi, and a rookie of Mike Duco. Put up your Ducos. Nathan Horton, here's a who, and Ryan Klo. Three packs left. Will Nick Bonino be our best rookie card? That is the question at this point. There's a Yarrow Halak. What is it? He's drafted like 44th or something. He's drafted by the Habs in the second round, I think. Uh, having an amazing year with. Uh, Steve Mason, an amazeball year with uh, with Boston, even though Boston's been really injury prone this year. Briscalov, 
Jay Bomeister and Radim Berbetta, who has since retired. Verena has just embarked upon his career. Not to confuse the two, which I try not to do. Vesalius, Christopher Letang, a Nick Johnson rookie, Johnny T, a flower, and always nice to have a flower sighting. Finally, last pack, Mac, of the Victory 2010-2011. I probably will buy another box because I did not hit the P.K. Subban or the uh, uh, one who shall rename, name, re remain nameless. Easy for me to say. Ryan Callahan. Oh, cool. A Stars of the Game of Andre Markov. That's very nice. I like it. Uh, Ryan Kessler and Sean Horncroft. So that's basically it. I shall do a quick recap. Okay, guys, time for the recap. So with regard to our base, uh, think about it. We have 36 packs, six cards per pack. That'd be 216 uh, of the 250 base set. So we would get a whole stack, multiple stacks. You buy two of these boxes for $10, $15, uh, you would get, receive the entire base set more or less. And the base cards, here we have a, a king and we have a price, a pricey, uh, and his red pads, uh, as opposed to his white pads, and then... We have the king in his white as opposed to his blue. Uh, so this is what they look like. They're really, really clean cards. Look a lot. They, they borrow on the colors of the teams, which is really handsome, nice, uh, definitive, uh, geometric look. What else did we receive? We received a stack of these inserts. These inserts come one of four. One of four would mean what? One of four would mean uh, nine per box. And so we got a Markov, which I love, a Chara, a Stahl, a Stammer, a Alfredson, a Bobby Lou, a Marty St. Louis, and this awesome Kane. So we have this uh, patch of Kane. So those are the stars of the game. Game Breakers, we got a bunch of the Game Breakers. Again, really hot cu cards. It's supposed to be in white. They use the colors of the teams. And look, I mean, look how handsome these cards are. Uh, again, a nice, a nice, beautiful stack, including uh, this beautiful Jumbo Joe, etc., etc. Really, really nice cards. Handsome, uh, really geometric, clear, clean cards, including this awesome Johnny T. Uh, so those would be the inserts landing. In total, those two inserts would land one every two packs, while the rookies would land one every two packs. Uh, and so in terms of rookies, you it is not the update rookies inserted in Upper Deck Series 2. It would happen to just be the base rookies. Uh, so they're very low-end rookies. A lot of guys are not NHLers, unfortunately. Uh, the cards look very pretty, nonetheless. Um, I did receive a couple of them. I was gunning for the for the Kadri and for the Subban. I got neither, unfortunately. Fortunately, I did receive a Tang Grady, which is one of the better ones, a Dustin Tokarski, which is one of the better ones, a Nick Palmieri, which is one of the better ones, and I hit the Nick Bonino, which is kind of cool. I figure if I buy one other box, I'll certainly hit my Subban. Uh, and probably fin finish out my base set. So that's kind of cool with the rookies. One last thing that I did hit, boom, I did hit one of these gold parallels. They land per one per box. Ideally, you would get a rookie parallel because those are one every four boxes, or the blacks, man. If you can hit one of those blacks, I've done that in the past, they are rare. Uh, they're one every 20 boxes, and the rookie blacks are one every 40 boxes, so good luck with that. Uh, but I did hit this Gallardi uh, um, gold one. So that's basically it, guys. Really low-end product, inclusive product, for te definitely totally for kids because they can uh, annihilate the cards uh, without anybody worrying about it. Anyways, I'm uh, please subscribe. I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Albeit I'm in Montreal right now. <laughs>